Everybody loves beers, bourbon, whiskeys. That's what that's what this is. <laughs> it's a podcast, though. All right. So anyway, obviously you can always tell when it's the second episode because I've only had two shots, and for whatever reason, um, I'm already there. But uh, this is our new guest today. All right. This is a Four Roses, and again, I knew I was gonna forget what it was. Uh, Small batch select. Four yes. Roses mm-hmm. made a couple appearances in in, in various, you know. Uh, uh, um, uh, episodes, yeah. Look, so, episodes. Uh, thank you. So we didn't have uh, this would be like the third one, right? Yeah, I think so. We had, yeah, yeah. You know, we did the yellow, yellow label. Yep. Yeah, and then the we did label. one and then before. We did the single barrel. Yeah, we did a single barrel. Yeah. yeah. So this would be the third one. So four yeah. roses is actually uh, in the building. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> the only one that's been here more than four roses probably is Maker's Mark because we had forty six. Mm-hmm. Then we had the. Uh, cash cash trip. Trip. Yeah, yeah, so we had a lot of those, mm-hmm. and then of course the regular. Um, so all right, let's introduce the uh, squad one more time in case you missed the uh, last episode. I got my guy, Militant Man, in the building, like we always do about this time. <laughs> oh, he's talking today, <laughs> <laughs> angry principal in the building. What's up, my man Bo holding it down? I say, and of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Man, let's get to it, dog. So, four roses, dog. I've been. I was good with both of the ones, uh, single barrel and uh, yellow label. I think both of those were great. Uh, this one is, uh, what did you say, 104 proof? 104 t- proof, yeah. All right, so bet we about to uh, tap into this and see what it's like. Um, I guess I'll pop the cork since I got the... Uh, yeah, it's also a six-year, it's been aged minimum six years. Minimum six so years, all right. Of, uh, it says small batch, so it might be two or three barrels that might yeah. be... Uh, Mixed together, blended together. Yeah. Each barrel had to be a minimum of six years. Okay. Well, you know, let's do it. Let's do it this time, this way this time. Uh, Militant man, we gonna have you pop the cork on your uh, on your microphone. Mm-hmm. All right. Gonna let you do the uh, do the honors. All right. Pause for the cork. It was a soft one. Yeah. Right. You ain't pulled that shit hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> that was a virgin cork. Mm-hmm. It might be the cork. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the, the wood of the cork aged uh, long enough and shit. We about to see uh, what this is like. Man, Bo about to give it the the nose and see what it's like. Is it reminiscent? Starting of the to come four back roses? a little bit. Yeah. All that? right, so you had this, so yeah, I say, is it reminiscent of, of other four roses? I mean, yeah, you little know, bit, the, yeah. the 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 profile kind of reminds me of it. Yeah. Yeah, a little. I can tell off it. Might be a little more caramely. Yeah, that barrel char is definitely. I think it's more caramely than, uh, and that's not really a word, but <laughs> it's more of a caramel. Jesse, you know, caramely, you know, happily. Jesse, you know, ain't no word. Apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's the most distinct thing yeah. from yeah. from the from the other from the other four roses is the caramel. Yeah. I do remember, the, you know, the last time I had this, like, yeah, definitely the caramel stood out to me. Yeah. And, the, and I got not so much a cream, but maybe more, a little bit more of a vanilla. No. And then kind of like a, at the finish to me, kind of seemed like a little smokiness, you know what I mean? So, uh, I thought it was solid, you know, straight. I'm about to check it out. He said some straight. Some kind of spice in here some, that you would use You getting bacon. that off the nose? Yeah, that you would use for bacon or something. I don't know. <laughs> for bacon? Yeah, for bacon. What? Like, you got to explain that, that to me. <laughs> Seriously? Cinnamon? <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon. cinnamon. Maybe I was going to yeah. say maybe cinnamon. Yeah, maybe cinnamon because that give you that kind of spiciness. So, I've got to see. Mm. Yo, I like this shit. I like this shit right here. I taste some mint. Okay. It's a little bit of mint on the finish. Mm-hmm. On the finish, yeah, yeah on the finish. Say, on the fin- yeah, I can see that on the finish. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely mm-hmm. on the finish. But I'm gonna tell you right now, though. Again, the the caramel, the the existence of that caramel was always go bring me back to Buffalo Trace. <laughs> I love <laughs> Buffalo Trace. But I think I think it is some vanilla in there too. I think that's what makes the uh, the caramel a little like just a little bit sweeter. Mm-hmm. But the finish, I think, is a perfect offset though. So like, it's not sweet all the way down. And it's not it's a it's a hug, but it don't kick your ass. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's, it don't it don't hurt. So I know I nah, I definitely taste that nutmeg. Yeah, I definitely taste it. Oh, mm-hmm. you know for sure. Yeah. So this is how I'm go. Uh, this is how I'm gonna help and you out with this. Yeah, that's that's there. This is how I'm gonna help you out with this. I don't even fucking know what nutmeg tastes like, so <laughs> I can't even agree or disagree <laughs> with that one. Like I don't even know what that shit tastes like. I'm gonna see what this smoke is about. It's some kind of, eh, I don't even want to say it. Definitely barrel char. Mm-hmm. That's there. Mm-hmm. The cinnamon, the nutmeg. Like I said, it's like I'm baking something. Yeah, it, I don't know, like, it, 
I got like on the flavor profile at, at the finish. I got some kind of. It was kind of like maybe a spiciness, maybe a smokiness, mm -hmm. maybe some type of you know wood, you know woody type, you know oaky type. But uh, it, it was definitely an offset from the nose. You know what I mean, bro? In front of palate, definitely. Did, that. did you smoke? That vanilla. Is that vanilla? Did you smoke? No, no. <laughs> I might be tripping, but I smoked this. This shit tastes like complete wood. <laughs> For real, like after I smoked and I blew a little smoke in the glass and drank, this shit tastes like cedar. <laughs> I'm not even bullshitting. Like I don't, I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but it tastes like I'm in the middle of the forest right now. <laughs> For real, it really does. That, that barrel chart does come up. Dog, I'm trying to tell you, it, it tastes like I'm in the fucking woods. It did come out of I hell yeah, dog. It's like it completely drained the, the carbon out the shit. Like it tastes like. I'm eating wood chips and shit. In and the that's also, it's, it's a lot of that cigar too. Cause it's the flat, a cigar. The flathead, it's strong. It's strong. strong. Yeah. That, that must so be what it is. It, I, it could overpower, or overtake that bird. So that's yeah. what it's doing. Obviously, it's overpowering it because it no, tastes. It's complimenting it to me. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like I'm in the woods. I don't like cedar. I like my shit to taste sweet. <laughs> I got a strong cigar also, so it's, yeah. it's definitely complimenting. Yeah, that's but it, it definitely bring out that wood though, yeah, though for sure. I, I know I ain't tripping. You know what? Know you know, maybe a better word for you know uh, when I was saying for the finish. Maybe a better word is, is, is kind of peppery. You know, mm -hmm. like a little pepper. You know what I mean? That's kind of that's kind of what it felt like. Yeah, you know, you right. Not so much smokiness or a wood, but more pepper, I guess. It's it's wood when you smoke this cigar. <laughs> it goes great with a cigar though. It's a good mm -hmm. pairing. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it's a good pairing. Though. No, so Milita, man, what you think about this one? So the last one you said was pretty strong. So you said yeah. that was one of the stronger ones. Yeah. Um, this one actually is more proof, but I, I can't really say that the bite is stronger. So I don't, I don't know. What's yeah, what you think? I don't get a strong bite from it either. For yeah. me, it's more so like a spicy, uh, hard cider with uh, a finish for me. It's like minty. Minty, yeah. yeah. Okay, I can feel that. Yeah, the mint tastes yeah. also good. And, and the only the only reason, and this is like I got lucky on this one. So uh, shout out to uh, Angry Man and uh, Mrs. Angry Man uh, the other day. <laughs> the other day for his birthday, dog, she made mojitos and shit. Right, I never had a mojito. So uh, I told that whole story just to say this: I would never understood that reference to mint if I never had that mojito because I never actually had like mint in alcohol. So like mm -hmm. now I understand what you what y'all saying. Mm -hmm. If I never had the mojito, I'd have been like nigga mint. Nigga, where? <laughs> but because I actually had a drink with mint in it, like, nah, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, it is some mint in there. Which is weird, though, because I figured that if you smoke and it's it, as a minty taste, that it then taste like a menthol and shit. <laughs> but it didn't, though. So, <laughs> it didn't. So, like, it tastes like a pack of cools. Um, so It's great on the finish, though. Yeah. Because it comes out on the finish. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of more light. It feels lighter, yeah. And okay. I think that's probably the difference there. It's got a nice hug to it, though. Yeah, definitely a nice hug. Uh, feel I, the love. I'm going to say, uh, if we just comparing, like, let's say we just comparing this uh, to the last show, uh, which was a Woodenville, um, I would say that um, I do actually, I think the taste of this one is better. I do like the taste of this better. If I was going to drink it with a cigar, I'm going to choose uh, Woodenville. This one... I'm going to drink by itself because I just, I don't want to taste wood. <laughs> the taste on the wooden meal is more complex. Yeah. Um, but this is a good go-to. Mm -hmm. Especially because I want the proof. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you're the yeah. proof hunter, of course. Wooden is 90, four roses. This one, this one back select is 104. So mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going for the bite. Of course. Got the hook. Yeah, of course. Let me ask you this. If it came down between this and the other four yellow rows. label I knew you was and the single that. barrel. Which so, um, that's a tough one because the single barrel was good. Um, I'm a, honestly, I'm gonna say the, the yellow label only because it's for whatever reason, it, it fit more into the mold for me with Woodford Reserve and, and Buffalo Trace. So because of that, I, I like it more. You know what I'm saying? This one. I would probably I would probably drink it when Angry Principal come over because he a proof <laughs> hunter. Outside of that, probably be getting a little dusty if I had to choose between this and the Yellow Label or even the Single Barrel. Single Barrel was good. Single Barrel tastes better. Like it got more if I remember because this was like fucking two seasons ago. But I, if I remember correctly, it, it 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 was a it was a stronger taste. Like yeah, it was more of a what what did you call it? Uh, symph no, not the symphony shit. Oh, explosion. 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 Yeah. <laughs> right. It was it was more of that. 
But I, I do like Yellow Label better out of all three, uh, which is probably crazy because Yellow Label is probably like the least expensive one. 20 bucks, say. 21 bucks. Yeah, like for that. sure. Yeah. Uh, what about you? What would you say? I don't know. Oh, single barrel. It was easy for me. Yeah, yeah. All day <laughs> that's long. a no-brainer. Yeah, all day long. Well, we got we just got excited about something. <laughs> he got his little uh, got certificate his of admission. <laughs> Shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to my nephew, man, CJ, uh, going to that's, uh, all, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. going to a, a black college. Thank and his uh, angry principal is very excited about that. I am too, though, for real. Like I, I'm glad he probably not as excited that he didn't go to Tuskegee, but it's still a black college. So. Hey, yeah. keep going to Dusty School on the Hill. Sorry, right. Dusty School on the Hill. Dusty School. Hey, hater. We rivals now. Hey, hater. Hater. I, all the I seen I the picture with y'all uh, Tuskegee on his shit. His yeah. Alabama State. Yeah. I mean, I, A&M, 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 I'm, A&M, I'm A&M, tripping, A&M, right? A&M, A&M, I'm tripping. We'll that was, about that one. Right, that was the four <laughs> roses. That was the four roses, though. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> A&M, A&M. <laughs> but now, I like the this small batch better than both other four rose versions we've had. Okay. Um, I, like I said, I think the taste one is much more complex. That's dope, Especially though. You know, we all three of us appreciate yeah. a little something different about it. Something you know, different yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. Man, look, I'm going to tell you right now, after, uh, after it's set for a while... The mint taste is like, it's crazy at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how it lingers? It's crazier. Yeah, yeah. Than, yeah. yeah it lingers. It lingers. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, you know what we didn't do, though? We didn't add a drop of water. I don't want to. I know, right? I don't even want that look. <laughs> this is like one of those just right. Yeah. It's just right where it is. For don't sure. mess with it. You know, uh, we've had other versions with higher proofs. Yeah. So this is like right at where where I would want to be, so I wouldn't even want to ruin it. You wouldn't want to ruin it. Okay, I feel that. I was, on that note, man, we had a good taste testing today. Again, I think that uh, I chose a yellow label over uh, over all three, I guess, uh, for a four rows. This is definitely good, though. Um, I I would just say I would warn you if you've got a uh, if you got a bold or cigar, uh, just do be aware that it is going to take the it's going to take the sweetness away uh, from this uh, from the palate. So to, it'll have the more uh, char wood kind of taste. If if that's cool with you, then. Then you good? Yeah, if you want more of the sweetness, if you, you want more of the sweetness, then don't do it. Yeah. In Connecticut or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, you know, I wonder what. Uh, I mean, this might be too far down the spectrum, but I wonder what like a, a fat bottom Betty would do to this. Is that too sweet? I don't. Because uh, a lot of people don't like that. I'm shit. not a fan of fat bottom. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I don't know. So like, <laughs> he's like, I don't, I don't smoke that sweet shit. <laughs> you know what? I, think, I love fucking fat bottom Betty. I think it'll be a good um, balance because the sweetness on this doesn't come out until the end, the finish with that mint. Right. Um, so it'd be a good contrast for each one. Yeah. Now, the uh, Emperor's Cut. Oh, I was thinking I think about it that. Really well with this one, also. Hey, I'm gonna be biased, man. The Emperor's Cut go with everything. Yeah, <laughs> just because, just because I fuck Empress with them. I think may bring out some flavors that we may be missing. Yeah. Um, In case you didn't know, Emperor's Cut is a black-owned cigar company. So that I might be biased on that, but I, I fuck with them either way. All right, so let's go around one last time before we get out of here, though. So, uh, Bo, you've had this before, so uh, out of five Black Power Fists, what'd you say? You know, think it's a solid three for me. For sure. Yeah, yeah good three. Solid three. Good three. Militant Man, what'd you say, bro? Uh, I get a good three and a half. Three and a half? All right, get that three and a half. Angry Principal, what'd you say? I'm going to give it a three plus the middle finger. 3.1, just because yeah, I like it. Plus the middle thing. Yeah. So we count from the middle now? I'm shit. from the middle, yeah. yeah but yeah. nothing, it's not against it. I like it. <laughs> I mean that middle finger out of love. That's it. Wow, too funny, dog. Uh, for me, I'm going to give it that good three. Um, out of the out of the four roses, like I said, I think this is uh, probably, uh, so, let me see. I, I got to put it this way. It's, it's great by itself. I would not smoke with it, though. So, like, with, with the smoke... Um, I'm giving it a 2.5. <laughs> Without the smoke, though, I, I'm giving it a solid three. Um, I, depending on what you like, because I, I, I definitely I, depending on what you like. I enjoy the smoke with it. Yeah. You know, so depending on what you like. Yeah, definitely depending on what you like. And and this is a and and this is all opinion based, right? So yeah, that's all. Yeah. yeah so yeah, if you've never had it, I I would actually suggest that you do have it and just see what you what you think. Yeah, and you uh, can be like both, other shit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. Or like Q, you we can say it, and then yeah. you'd be you probably be right. Like <laughs> that, that nigga palette soft as hell. That's correct, <laughs> and, and I'm okay with that. Um, so did we want to, uh, did we want to save, uh, the next one that we have for another show or we just go, or we go get into that? I was just curious. I don't know. Let's keep drinking and we'll figure it out. We just, we'll figure it out. All right. So we're going to get out of here. Y'all don't get a chance to see this. Uh, we're going to get a, get over here and get to our, uh, BBW happy hour, which is live. Uh, hopefully you get a chance to see that. 
Uh, I guess that's about it. So we will see you guys next time. We're going to finish up our four roses and Woodenville and possibly uh, some wild turkey that we got uh, hidden behind the bar <laughs> and some more cigars. And we want to turn up on this Saturday evening, man. So thank everybody for checking us out. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get a notification every time we go live. And if you're on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, any of that good stuff, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so that you also uh, get a notification whenever we drop a new episode. To the next time, man. You already know what it is, man. BBW. Everybody loves beers, bourbon, whiskeys. Uh, I got my man Militant. Militant man in the building one more time. Hey, if you can't swim, you can out of on. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what he was going to say. <laughs> my man Angry Principal holding it down. Damn, that's good bourbon guild. Drink what you like, how you like. <laughs> my man Bo holding it down. I'll say. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man. Peace out, guys. You bound to resign. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>